Welcome back to Switch to Linux. It is Monday and it is time for another Linux Top 5. And today we're going to be talking about the differences in the deepened desktop environment. A lot of people have asked some questions about this. And so I'm working on a true comparative difference between the Deepin OS with its own Deepin desktop environment and the Manjaro OS with the Deepin community um, build. And so what I'm looking at today is some differences uh, between them, and uh, really there's not a lot, and they're all very minor. Um, and uh, tip of the hat to Lamarck, who left a comment, which uh, four of these five kind of came from-ish, and I don't know, I think I added one more. Uh, but basically what we're going to do here is we are going to talk about what are the differences between Deepin on, the, on its own OS versus Manjaro. Number one, the Deepin OS contains the software center uh, for with its own namesake versus Manjaro having the Pac-Man uh, GUI pac uh, package manager. And uh, this difference, uh, I really like the Deepin software center. It is probably the nicest, classiest looking software center I have seen in Linux. And I've seen a lot of the software centers. Um, I know Linux Mint 19's new software center is really good. Deepin's is just way better. Discovery's not too bad. Deepin's software center is way better. And uh, overall, it is uh, it is a very nice, very good software center. It is polished. It is beautiful. It is easy to navigate. It has a lot of information, uh, easy to install. Uh, versus Manjaro's Pac-Man manager, uh, the graphical manager, is it's not hard. It's just not super user-friendly. You can easily get anything that you need, particularly if you know what it is. But it's not overwhelmingly amazing to look at or anything like that. Of course, that's your major difference. Uh, the Deepin has apt with its own software manager versus Manjaro having Pac-Man on both the terminal and in the GUI. Number two is a rolling release versus a stable release. If you really like the stable software, you want the LTS type functionality, then the Deepin OS is probably going to be better off for you versus Manjaro is based on Arch and that is by nature a rolling type release. Manjaro will always roll faster uh, than Deepin will. And so what you'll end up with is Manjaro is always going to have the latest of the packages, whereas Deepin is generally going to have the same versions of packages from version to version, but you will get your security updates. So it's not like it's less secure, but you will have less feature rich. Some people like me, I definitely prefer the LTS. That's one of the reasons I like the Debian base and Linux Mint in particular is because nothing changes on me. I will get security, but I don't get anything else changing quite automatically. Um, Manjaro, I could likely boot up some application and find that it's updated to a completely different version. And so rolling versus LTS, which one is more important to you? Number three, more theming options. Manjaro comes with a lot more themes. I think Deepin comes with two. It comes with the Deepin theme and the dark theme for Deepin. And the uh, Manjaro actually comes with, I think there's like six or seven themes installed. There's numerous more icon packs on Manjaro than there are on Deepin and a lot more wallpapers. Like I said, we're getting into very minor stuff. But if you like to experiment with more built-in default desktops, Manjaro probably is your better choice. For me, once I get the desktop set, I don't generally change it a whole lot. You know, I'll spend some time theming something initially, but I'm not a huge advocate of changing all the theming around once I get it just right. But that's one of your differences, different quantities of theme files. Number four is they make some different choices on your default packages. Uh, obviously, Manjaro being much more friendly to the open source world gives you open source applications such as uh, it comes with LibreOffice, it comes with Firefox, and things like that. In fact, I think those might be the only real differences. Uh, the Deepin OS, for some reason, comes with Google Chrome instead of any other web browser, and it comes with WPS Office, which is not open source. 
Um, and both of those are things I do not like the EULA for. It's not a huge problem if you really want to run deep in OS. I would not let that to make your deciding factor because they're both very easy to uninstall and then you can add LibreOffice and whatever you want to install for your web browser. So those are certainly um, uh, certainly good um, uh, good differences. Just understand that they do have different default packages available to them. Before we get to our number five, I'll remind you to check a look at the links in the description down below. If you want to help support the channel, switch to linux.com forward slash support. We'll have all the means you can help support us. We do have things like uh, t-shirts and coffee cups and mouse pads on shop.switchtolinux.com. And just check me out on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Tom M. That is T-O-M-M. -M. And number five, the templates folder. This is the one that uh, the Deepin, if you recall my initial Deepin setup video, uh, there is one ch folder that is, remains its Chinese character on Deepin. Some people have told me that is the templates file. Other people have told me that's related to WPS Office. I don't know which one is right. About the same amount of people told me either direction. I just don't know. Manjaro does have the templates folder. However, I still do not know where Deepin uh, adds template folders. Basically, the template folder in Manjaro is useless. It doesn't do anything. Uh, you can drop things in there on nearly any other distro. They show up on your right-click context menu. On Deepin OS, they do not. They do have new Office documents, new things like that. Those are, I'm sure they're easy to find in the system. I just haven't looked for them. Uh, but that is one of your differences, is Manjaro maintains that template folder. Deepin does not have a template folder unless it's that folder with Chinese characters remaining. Uh, but regardless, that folder is not used as the template folder on either one of the two distributions. So those are my top five differences between Deepin OS and Manjaro, uh, both running the Deepin desktop environment. What are your thoughts? And uh, I should have the video up maybe by the end of this week about what is the major differences, which one is better? Is it better to run Deepin OS? Or is it better to run Manjaro Deepin, assuming you want to run that particular desktop environment? So thanks for coming along on this video, and I hope that you enjoy switching to Linux.